Paragon Software Group is a leading provider of disaster recovery, virtualization, migration, deployment, and system optimization solutions since 1994. We help our customers reduce server downtime and improve their backup and DR strategy, leverage and manage virtual environments, and improve the performance of their storage systems, data centers, and applications by optimizing partition structures and alignment. Welcome to Paragon Software Group's Dry Backup 10 Server Product Overview. This is a four-part series that will review the features and functionality of the Dry Backup Server application. These features include the creation of sector and file level backups, differentials and incrementals, creating a backup capsule, creating synthetic and cyclic backups, virtualization, disk and partition copying, scheduling and scripting, working with Paragon Archives, the different types of recovery media, our ability to restore to dissimilar hardware using our adaptive restore technology, and finally our add-on components, which comprise of our granular recovery for exchange and our remote management application. This is part three of the four-part series. Today we're going to focus on these four features of the application. Launching the application brings up the main interface. This interface will provide us access to most of the features we'll be discussing today. Scheduling and scripting. In most task creation wizards, you'll be given the option to schedule a task or generate a script. If you're not provided that option, you can always complete the wizard, then go to the upper left hand corner under changes and select generate script or save to scheduler. Scheduling options are the typical ones that you'd find. For instance, you'd have the option for once at system startup, at logon, daily, weekly, or monthly. Whichever selection you pick, you'll be giving additional options based on that selection. To change an existing task schedule, just simply right click the schedule task and select properties. Then go to the schedule tab. Paragon scripting language. When a schedule task or script is generated, it's essentially a set of instructions passed onto the application to execute whatever process you've created. The scripting language provides a powerful tool for Paragon applications to do more than what's available out of the box. Some of these include being able to combine multiple processes together in one scheduled event. In addition, batch files and applications can be called from a script as well. Through the scripting language, the possibilities are almost limitless to what you can do. More information about scripting is available by going to the News and Documentation section of the side menu. There you can select the script manual. This will provide additional insight into how to use the scripting language. Working with Paragon Archives. Paragon Disk and Partition Archives not only give you the benefit of restoring in the event of a disaster, but they also give you file level and folder level restore capabilities. There are several ways in which to extract data from an archive. The first option I'm going to show you is mounting the partition archive. From the Partitions tab, we use the drop down menu and select Show Partitions. From there, we right click the partition we intend to restore from and select Mount the Selected Archive. This will allow us to select a drive letter that we're going to assign to the newly mounted partition. Please note that all partitions that are mounted are read only. You can pull files and folders out of an archive, but you're not able to modify an archive by adding files to that directory. The next way of extracting data I'm going to show you is through our file transfer wizard. We can accomplish this by again right clicking the archive and this can be either a file level archive or a partition level archive and select Restore File from Archive. This brings up our file transfer wizard. From here we see the archive is already mounted and we can see the directory structure of that archive and then we can select which files and folders we want to extract by highlighting them and clicking on the left arrow key. This will put the files to the clipboard. Once we have selected all the files that we want, we hit next and choose where we're going to save the files to. You will be prompted to choose whether you want to overwrite existing files or not. Finally, we select the exact location where the files will be written to. Creating the different types of recovery media. One of the ways to create the recovery media is to go back to the tools section of the side menu and select recovery media builder. Paragon provides two different types of recovery media. The first one is a Linux DOS based recovery disk and the second one is a Windows PE based one. Both of them have almost the same functionality as the Windows installed application. After the welcome screen, you'll have two options of how you want to create the recovery media. 
The first option is to flash memory, which can be a USB thumb drive, and the second option is for CD or DVD. The minimum requirements for both types are a CD or a 512 megabyte USB thumb drive. Now we get to select which type of recovery media we're going to create. The typical option is the Linux DOS recovery disk. The advanced option allows us to add additional files to the recovery media, like driver files. If you choose the user specified option, you can browse to the location of the WinPE ISO, supplied as a separate download. And finally, copy from CD or DVD. You can take a previously created CD or DVD and burn that to flash memory. Now let's boot to the newly created recovery media. In this example, we are booting to the WinPE recovery disk. The WinPE version that we're currently using is WinPE 3.0, which is a Windows 7 and 2008 32-bit pre-installation environment. Similar to a Windows 7 install, we see the Windows is loading file screen, and then the Windows 7 startup logo. After the hardware has been initialized, we come to the end user license agreement. After we accept the terms of the license agreement, we're brought to the Paragon Drive Backup 10 Express launcher screen. From any of the menus, we can click one of the selections and go directly into the corresponding wizard. By selecting Switch to Advanced Mode, you'll see that it brings up an interface similar to what we had in Windows. Almost all the same functionality that we had in Windows we have in the WinP environment. Only the scheduled tasks and archive tabs are missing. In this environment, those features are unnecessary. If we go to the Tools section of the Express Launcher, we will find the Add Drivers menu. The Paragon WinP environment comes with the standard drivers that comes with a Windows 7 install. Paragon provides you the ability to add drivers manually by browsing to the location of the INF files. This can be done for any network adapters or storage controllers that are not recognized by default. Paragon also provides an online WinP customization service that allows you to upload these same drivers to our website and create a customized WinPE. Once the customized WinPE has been built, you no longer have to manually add the drivers. Adaptive Restore One of the many standout features of the Paragon Imaging software is our Adaptive Restore technology. This provides the end user the ability to restore an OS to a different hardware environment than was originally imaged. We can see this feature in action by going to the Backup and Recovery section of the Express Launcher and select P2P Adjust OS. This launches the wizard that will lead you through the process of adjusting your operating system or operating systems to your new hardware environment. During the next step, the application analyzes all the partitions and drives to find any OS's that will be available for adjustment. If more than one OS is found, you will be able to adjust each OS individually for the new hardware. Once you've selected which OS is going to be adjusted, the next screen provides you two options to make those adjustments. The first option is the automatic mode. The automatic mode will browse through the system partition, specifically the INF and driver store directories, to find any suitable drivers that can be used for the new hardware. The second option is the set parameters option. This will provide you the ability to define additional locations in which to search for drivers. These locations can include any drives that are attached, CDs, or network locations. If additional drivers are added, you have the option to inject all necessary drivers, and if multiple versions of drivers are available, you can configure it to keep the latest ones. The next step of the process, the application scans all provided locations for drivers that will be used for the new environment. If any drivers are missing for boot critical devices, such as storage controllers and network adapters, you will be prompted with that information. You will be given the opportunity to go back and add those additional drivers, or proceed ignoring the warning. Once complete, you'll have the option to apply the changes physically. During this process, the existing hardware profile is backed up and is rebuilt with the new hardware and driver settings. Once the wizard completes, your system is ready to boot on the new hardware. This concludes part 3 of the Drive Backup 10 server overview. Please view the remaining parts of this video series to see all the features and functionality that Drive Backup 10 server has to offer. For additional information including sales, or if you would like to receive an evaluation copy of the software, please contact us at 888-347-5462 or email us at sales underscore USA at paragon-software.com. 
Thank you for viewing this Paragon Software Group presentation.